So what exactly do I mean by casual dating and how do you do it? If you're someone who hears the phrase casual dating and starts heading for the door, then you may need this advice more than anyone else. I'm not talking about sleeping around, having a ton of flings or hitting on guys in bars. What I mean by casual dating is dating more frequently and less seriously. This means not rushing things. This means not overthinking every little word and text message. This means saying yes to more dates. This is a great way to break the cycle of meet guy, fall for guy, spend all your time with guy, and then having things all end within a couple months. I'm sure some of you are still shaking your heads. Stick around and I'll tell you why this is the right move to help you find the one. Now, in this video, I'm going to go over a ton of tips for casual dating, but if you want something a little more in depth on how you can infuse your dating life with the kind of passion, romance, and desire that you've always dreamed of, then head on over to coachnorth.com. That's coachnorth.com and watch the free video presentation. It just might change your life. So just exactly how will casual dating help you find the one? Number one, it changes your mindset. When we're looking for the love of our life, we're in a very goal oriented mindset. Namely, where's this perfect guy hiding and how do I make a mine? This can put a lot of pressure on a new relationship. We can scare a guy off by pushing for commitment too early, or we can drive ourselves crazy trying to figure out what he's thinking if he likes us, and if he's even going to call us again. Casual dating lets you leave all this baggage at the door. When you know that whatever happens tonight, you have another date lined up next week, suddenly the fears and anxieties disappear and you're able to really enjoy yourself. Number two, it's a great way to get to know someone. It may seem like focusing on one person is the way to really get to know someone. It's easy to get wrapped up in the excitement of a new relationship and confuse that with love. If you don't see him as often, you can actually get a clearer picture of what he's like as you'll have time apart to reflect and process. In some ways, dating multiple people lets you take things slow. Plus, if you're going on lots of dates, you'll be noticing the differences between the guys and getting a better idea of what you like and what you don't like. Three, it allows more balance in your life. We often get caught up in the idea that we need to find the love of our life in order to be happy. It's like he's going to swoop in and change everything. While meeting the right guy is amazing, it's important that we don't neglect our own life until he shows up. But if you're less focused on meeting this magic man, you'll be more independent and therefore more attractive when he finally does come around. Dating casually lets you see that you really do have options and that you don't have to make him your whole world right away. There are many roles that men can play in our lives and a knight in shining armor is just one of them. Four, see what's out there. Stop me if you've heard your friends, family, or even yourself say this before. There are no good guys out there. Believe it or not, I find the people who say that the most often are the ones who date the least. Is it any wonder that you can't find good guys when you're not willing to give anybody a chance? Open yourself up to the idea of dating new and different men. That's the beauty of casual dating. You don't go into it expecting a happily ever after. So even if you can tell 10 minutes into the first date that this guy isn't someone you'd want to marry or even see again after tonight, you can still have a fun new experience and get to see a totally different point of view. Stick it out and you may find that the guys you have the best connection with aren't the ones that you've spent your whole life chasing after. At the very least, you'll have some wild stories. Five, practice makes perfect. Think of it this way. The more dates you have, the more you'll be ready when the guy you really want arrives. You don't want to scare away the right guy by being nervous or inexperienced with dating. The more you date, the more comfortable and confident you'll be on dates. You're not your best self when you're covered in sweat. But is casual dating for everyone? I don't think I can say any of my advice is for 100% of people. Everyone is different. But this one is pretty darn close. It gives you something that you'll have a hard time getting anywhere else. Perspective. And if you're someone who wouldn't even consider casual dating, you may be the person who needs this change the most. So get on Tinder, go out speed dating, or let your friends set you up. And by the way, do you really wanna know the most crucial weapon when it comes to casual dating? It's learning how to text. There are certain words that you can send a man to make him think about you all day long. But not only do you have to know what to text, but you have to know when to text him too. For more on this, just head over to attractiontext.com. Again, that's attractiontext.com and watch that full featured presentation there. There you have it. There are some powerful ways that casual dating can be your path to finding the one. It seems crazy, but it works for my clients and it could work for you too. Speaking of you, I want to hear your stories in the comments. What's the most dates you ever went on in one month? 
Let us know and you might just inspire someone else to do some daring dating. Thanks for watching.